everyone, it's Red and welcome to my channel, welcome back darling. Today we are back for some more of The Walking Dead, so I guess let's go meet up with Kate and Clementine and see what they're up to with Richmond. Um, after that big dramatic ending with David. There's a happy side. Oh, stop it. Are you serious? We gotta find Kate. Jesus. Okay, whoa. I was not Jesus. expecting that. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. Looking a little bit different, though. Once I got in contact with my people, I headed right back. Had to make sure you folks were safe. Can you help us get the gate open? Gotta boost me up, Gabe. Okay. Oh god. Oh oh oh. Nice. I'll one, have Harley. it open in a second. I'm shocked. Just have open gate button. Uh. I. Oof. I guess it would be, uh, uh, I have no idea, maybe this one? Nope. Nope. Okay, the green button. Oh! It was the green button, okay. Let's get inside and wrangle the walkers together! If we get them in one group, we can lead them right out! I was not expecting this, guys. I was not expecting Jesus to make a return. <laughs> but I guess maybe it is the second coming of Jesus? I don't know. <laughs> Bad joke. <laughs> um, we need to round up these walkers! I, I really didn't see any point in saving Kate? Richmond, but... Kate, where are you? Head him towards the gate! What's going on? Clemmy! I can't find Kate! We got separated after we sealed the breach. We were going to open the gate, but there were so many walkers. I barely made it through. No, I did. We have to find her. Help me look. Of course. Kate! 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 Kate call out to me! Oh, that was Kate! a massive glitch. Kate! The disappearing horse? Okay. That was kind of a You see, guys, look at this. It's completely overrun. Kate, please! Kate! Kate, where are you? Kate! Kate! Bobby, I think she's gone. No, no way. Just no, gone. No, she's out there. No, no, this isn't fucking happening! Javi. What happened? I don't know, buddy. I can't find her. I can't stop looking. Kate, where are you? Kate! Kate! Kate, please! Kate, where the fuck are you? Guys, what's happening? They looked for like a minute. She must be around here somewhere. There's no way that she's just, you know... Like, been bit and... Three days later? Wait, what? What's going on? I'm so confused right now. I'm so confused. Place photo on the photo wall. May you rest in, pe in peace. Look at all these photos, guys. Forever in our hearts. Be strong. Our love is forever. Who's that? I feel like, I, I don't know why I looked at that and thought that was Joan. And what happened to Joan? Are we gonna find out? I think we, I hope we're gonna find out. But okay, let's press, let's place this photo on the wall. Is it Kate's? It is Kate's. <sighs> I'm confused. Three days later, Maybe you should have stayed with her instead of going after me. 
Maybe we should be okay. Maybe you wouldn't be. I was such an asshole to her. All the time. I'm sorry, Kate. She loved you? Forget all that, buddy. She loved you. Plain and simple. I loved her too. I don't think I ever told her. Guessing that's David's photo. Chefing it up. To stop him, Javi. That's why we hit the muertos. Mm. I thought that if we just went back, I thought I could save him. I thought I had to. Dad. I had to try. <laughs> Mariana. Kate. Dad. I wonder which one of us will be up there next. That's all that's left of them. Pieces of paper looking back at us, but never seeing us. What the hell are we supposed to do with that? What do we do with any of this? Honor them? Tell stories about them. Laugh at the jokes they used to tell. Keep living. Keep loving. Keep them in our hearts. Can you do that? Yeah. I can. Okay. I'm so confused, guys. I'm so confused. Three days later, they haven't found Kate. Kate vanished. I'm, we saved Richmond somehow. Where's Joan? What happened to Joan? Am I missing something? <laughs> Head now? Yes, indeed. We came here to put an end to the raiding. Looks like that's been done. Glad we got it settled. Gotta move on. We could use you. We could use you around here. Please stay. We got other people depending on us, Javi. Just the way it is. I was worried about you, Javi. About who you are inside. You helped save these people, though. That goes a long way for me. Second chances are in short supply these days. That's what this place can be if you let it. Trust me, though. Life within walls is a hell of a lot different than life on the road. Don't take shortcuts like Joan. You gotta do the right thing. Always. Good days, and especially bad. Absolutely. The right thing. No matter what. Good to hear. I read people pretty well. Little gift of mine. You're a capable guy, Javi. Change is in the air here. You can lead that change, and I think you should. For the better. God knows this town could use it. I mean, I guess I'll step up. You know what? I'm gonna step up. Lead this place in the right direction. Then as far as I'm concerned, Richmond's in much better hands than it was. Hey, uh, Jesus? Hey, uh, Gabe. <laughs> Thanks for, you know, not letting me get killed and for coming back to help us. Yeah. Thanks for that, man. Pay it forward. Be vigilant. Trouble never stays too far away. <sighs> You're alive. Oh. Don't remind me. I'm not gonna say thank you for keeping me alive. But I'm going to try and find something out there that might make me say thank you. Someday. So where's AJ? Yeah. Where's Tell AJ? Me. Where? C you know Clem won't rest until she finds AJ. 
Where is he? Please, man. For her sake. He's in McCarroll Ranch. It's not too far from here. That's... That's where we left him, at least. Thank you. Good luck out there, Doctor. So you're out of here too, huh? Yeah. It's time. I have to find AJ, Javi. I've waited so long. But could you do me one last favor before I leave? to do this for my niece. That's nice of you. She thought I was terrible at it. Were you? None of your business. I'm really gonna miss Gabe. I mean, he's super annoying sometimes, but I've gotten used to having him around. At least to have someone to talk to, even if he is a total dork. He's got a crush on you. Not that he said anything to me in particular, but you know the guy's got a mondo crush on you, right? He does not. Oh my gosh, you have a crush on him too. I do not. Ooh. Well, you both have my blessing. <laughs> I'm gonna stab you with those scissors. That's cute. I have to see AJ Javi. I have to see that he's okay. Do you think he remembers me? At least a little? Who could forget you? Maybe. Who could forget you, Clem? No one who knew you, I guarantee it. Yeah, maybe. Everyone told us he was better off. After everything that's happened, I'm starting to think they're right. I don't know if I was a good mom or not. I can't stop thinking about it. Of course you are. I really wish I could. Did you love him? With all of my heart. And of course you were. Gabe told me you used to play baseball. I did. I loved it. He told me you fucked it all up, too. Yep. Sure did. Well, you survived. I had to. But you loved it. How do you survive that? How? If you really loved it, how? That's what's good about a broken heart. When you're looking at it all broken and shattered on the floor, you figure out the pieces you need versus the ones you liked. If you're ready to move on, that is. If. All done. Well, how's it look? Oh. You know what? I'll grab your hat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember this team. Your dad ever teach you about baseball? No, not really. Well, you come back, and I'll tell you all about it. It's a deal. If I bring AJ back with me, will you teach him too? No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, leave him be, bring him back. Yeah, bring him back, why not? You bet. He belongs with you, Clementine. Bring him back. Why wouldn't you, you know? I'm now the leader of Richmond, apparently. It's only been three days and they're acting like it's been three months, you know? Like everything's just back to normal, better than it was before three days ago, when there was thousands of zombies, you know? How did they get rid of the body so fast?
I'm just... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's a cute jacket though, Clemmy. Gabe is so cute. Is that it? Is that it for the season? I feel like it is. Yes, it is. Y your experience with David was heartfelt. You accepted David's hand after he punched you on the night your father died. You supported David's plan to meet at his house in Richmond. In his time of need, you distanced yourself from David. After David passed, Gabe shot him to prevent him from turning. So, okay, that our experience with, with David was heartfelt. Um, okay. And your experience with Kate was distance. I wish David understood that, because apparently he didn't, but anyway. Uh, you were relieved to see Kate alive in the junkyard. Uh, you rejected Kate's plan to leave Richmond. Ending things once and for all, you rejected Kate. After you saved Richmond, Kate was nowhere to be found. Right, which is so bizarre to me, like... Maybe she just left. Could have that maybe could have been a thing. Maybe she just left. I don't know. It was a bit weird that they decided to end her, you know, storyline like that. I felt like it was just, you know, a bit of a cop out. I feel like I don't know. There's a lot of things in this season that I felt like they just did just to kind of have a plot point. You want? Uh, hopefully that makes sense. But. Um, yeah, so that was weird, but, um, okay, your experience with Gabe was considerate. You upset Gabe by not staying in the trailer for the night. And look how that turned out. That was the best decision, but anyway, didn't matter, of course. Uh, you told Gabe the truth about his neighborhood friends. After David drove away with Gabe, you went after your nephew. You encouraged Gabe to honour the memories of those he lost. Okay. Your new frontier story, Trip, cut, Chip is dead. <laughs> you reassured Trip by promising you wouldn't cause trouble in Prescott. Then you went to the junkyard with Trip. Finally, you picked Chip to live, but Joan shot him to teach you a lesson. What happened to Joan? I don't know. We still don't know. We still don't know. Like, guys, am I missing something? Or was that just a never, just a, like, just something just, I don't know, brushed under the rug? I don't know what happened. But Eleanor, you left Eleanor at Prescott when you went to the junkyard. Then Eleanor leaked your plan to incite resistance against Joan. Ultimately, you did not forgive Eleanor for her betrayal. Yeah, I didn't, because that was a silly thing that she did. Um, just because we shot Conrad, because he went absolutely ballistic, and he would have shot friggin' Gabe. I mean, we saw, if you go back, you can watch it. He shot Gabe in the head and then shot Harvey, so he deserved it entirely. But that's why I'm pretty sure, like, Trip and Eleanor flipped out. That's why they flipped out on us, because Gabe told them that we shot Conrad. Um, Ava, Clementine, de declined Ava's offer to meet with the New Frontier. Then Ava helped you get into the armory because you showed solidarity with David. In the end, despite you not picking her to live, Ava died saving you on the overpass. Um, yeah, again. Just like a cheap death for a great character. Um, and we didn't get a whole lot from Ava's character, even though I feel like 
with all of the Walking Dead characters, there's so much depth there, like they flesh them out really well, but for the most part they really don't get enough out of the characters for the storyline. And I think it's just because the seasons are like relatively short, the episodes are relatively short, like they could go on and on and on. They could really stretch out the games I feel like, but because they just want to go to the next sort of thing, it's um, everybody's storyline for the most part is just really quite short and just, you know, they're just used as to like the next sort of plot point, you know, in terms of the storyline and that sort of thing. Hopefully that makes sense, but Lingard, Clementine ignored Lingard's medical advice regarding AJ. Then you refused to give Lingard a lethal injection. He could have just done it himself, <laughs> but he didn't. <laughs> Maybe he was scared. Maybe he wanted us to do it because he was just too scared to do it himself, but whatever, he's still alive somehow. Uh, after the chaos, Lingard told you where AJ is located. So in the end, we got what we wanted. Um, Conrad, you coached Francine through Conrad's poker game. Then when Gabe threatened Conrad, you convinced your nephew to lower his gun. Later, you shot Conrad in the tunnel after he threatened Gabe's life. Uh, he deserved it. He deserved it. That was one of the best things in this season was shooting Conrad in the face. Uh, G Jesus, um, when you met him, you trusted Jesus and didn't bind his hands. Then you promised Jesus to always do the right thing in helping Richmond survive. Lastly, you promised Jesus that you would help lead Richmond. That we would help lead Richmond or that we would be the leader? Who knows? Um, Joan, you kept your mouth shut when Joan baited you about Mariana's death. Uh, then your plan to expose Joan failed. Okay, currently Joan's whereabouts are unknown. <gasps> Whoa, okay, so they're just unknown. Okay, um, Clint kicked you out of Richmond for stealing gas. Okay. Then you took Clint's deal and spared Joan's life. Finally, David shot Clint on stage after you agreed to Clint's deal. It was another thing that I was ranting about in the last part. I was just, you know, that we had the perfect opportunity to just leave as a family. None of this would have happened. David would have still been here. Kate would have still would have would have still been here. Um, and that we we would have just left, you know. But apparently, I mean, to shoot Clint of all people, like he was completely innocent in the whole thing, you know. He was not a bad person at all. So it was a bit. It was a bit pointless, I feel like, for David to just shoot him, but obviously he went just completely crazy. Um, which was another thing that I didn't love about sort of the writers kind of making his character so irrational. Like, yeah, he has anger issues and he's very irrational, but, you know, as I said before, um, with the talk on the rooftop, like, finally we had a breakthrough, um, and then there was just, like, no reasoning with him whatsoever, so that was just, just another thing where it was just, like, you know, I don't know, I don't know, but Clint's done, okay, and that's it, continue. So I guess this is Clemmy walking on the bridge. Yeah. I was so not expecting this ending, by the way, guys. Like I thought we would have we we had like a good um a good amount left of this season. Okay guys, well that wraps up this season of The Walking Dead and New Frontier. 
Um, yeah, I must admit that season one is still my favourite season. I don't think that's probably going to change. I mean, maybe the final season is just going to be absolutely amazing. It blows my mind. And maybe it will top season one. But I'm not going to hold my breath. <laughs> I'm not going to hold my breath. Um, just because season one was impeccable. It was impeccable. Um, but yeah, let me know, as I said, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this season, how it ended, what you thought of the characters. Uh, I would love to know. And I would also love to know what your favourite season was. Was it season one? Was it season two? Was it this season? Or is it the final season? Feel free to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments because I always love to read them. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then you know what to do. But otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video.